What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general um, reading for the sign of Taurus, Oracle card reading. This can resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general Oracle card reading for the sign of Taurus. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,880 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it, appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do. I received uh, several channel messages as I was meditating on your energy uh, for the month of April of 2022. Uh, so I'm going to deliver them now. The first message I received was looking for another job. So that's confirmation for my intuitive kitty, and he hasn't done that all day, just saying. So looking for another job was the first one. The second one was um, a Taurus. I heard a Taurus is interested in a co-worker sexually, but this co-worker does not date other co-workers. That's what I heard. So at least one of you Tauruses is interested in another co-worker sexually, I heard. But apparently it is important for you to know that this co-worker does not date other co-workers. So that's at least for one of you guys. And um, the other one I heard was, um, oh, crap. oh, yeah. So you're about to hear about someone going to jail soon. That's what I heard. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, of course. Um, However, that resonates and applies in your life. So, um, I feel one of you guys, spirit messages you have signed to us. Oh, holy crap, hold on. I feel, um, okay. I feel, uh, for one of you guys, you are, uh, looking for another job. Um, either you or somebody you're connected to, somebody's looking for another job. Um, at least one of you Tauruses is interested sexually in another co-worker, but I heard specifically that co-worker does not date other co-workers. So that is very important for at least one of you Taurans. And um, you're about to hear of someone going to jail soon. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates in your life, Taurus. It's about to be someone you never expected to go, is what I just heard. It's about to be someone you never expected to go. So it's about to be someone you never expected to go. They never thought they would get caught. They never thought they would get caught. Oh, whoa. So it's someone you never expected to go to jail, apparently, and they never thought they would get caught, get caught about something, whatever the crap it is. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So whoever it is that apparently is um, gonna go to jail, they never thought they would get caught and um, they never thought they would go to jail. Um, or back to jail, um, how that resonates. Heard go to jail. So they might have a history of going to jail or not. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. But it's someone you never expected to go and they never thought they would get caught. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so we have porcupine. Time for beginnings. Rhinos, uh, porcupine spirit, rhino spirit, overcome um, adversity. My cards, my kitty spilled uh, water on my cards. Incubation and healer. Oh my goodness, whoa. Maybe one of you guys is emotional about a situation or someone is emotional about you, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. 
A Taurus is about to get asked out on a date soon. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to get asked out on a date soon. Well, you got your bad self, Taurus. Whoever that's for. Uh, you can be masculine or feminine. I'm assuming you're like single as a Pringle energy, like single on the tax form energy. Um, you're about to get asked out on a date soon. You go with your bad self. Spirit messages you have to find for us. Spirit messages you have signed for us. Okay, we got three. I usually take two, but three popped out, so we'll take them. Clouds, temporary problems, career, kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Ooh. That might be why some of you guys are looking for another job, possibly. Because um, there's a lot of career in here, down here. Um, so you plug it in. Hard. I mean, you got temporary problems, career, and unsettled times need to plan ahead. So maybe, I think for some of you guys, um, you're not happy at your current workplace. Or you're sensing problems in your workplace. Um, and maybe that's why you're looking for another job. How that resonates in one's life. Possibly for some. Uh, number 48 or 50 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 48 or 50. It could be possible age of viewers. Why you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible social security card number. Possible um, jersey number. 48 or 50. Um, porcupine spirit. You could be dealing with an air sign or a earth sign, another earth sign, because we have porcupine and rhino spirit. If you are, they can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Henry Jupiter charts, if you are. Porcupine spirit, time for beginnings. A particular Taurus, some have already cut off an air sign, some are about to. In the dating and sex department. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, so, um, whoever you are, uh, I'm assuming the time for beginnings is um, wanting to date somebody else. Um, or just be single, however that resonates. Uh, whoever you are, you're dealing with an air sign, if this particular message resonates with you. Um, for some, you've already cut off an air sign. Some, you're about to. I heard in the dating and sex department. So, for some, I feel it was strictly sexual. For some, it could have been prostitution services, possibly. For some, it could have been um, just sex, like FWB, like friends with benefits. Some, it could have actually been dating. But uh, how that resonates, some you've already cut them off. Some you're about to. It's an air sign. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumbin, Hammer, Jupiter, charts. if that resonates for you. And I think the time for beginnings is um, you moving on from that person in that situation. This is exactly what I think. Um, that's exactly what I think. And one of you guys is romantically interested in a co-worker, but I heard they don't date co-workers. And maybe that's why some of you guys are looking for another job, possibly. I mean, if you're that serious in that person, I mean, if it's th that deep, I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. If it's not that deep, I'm presuming you're probably just moving for um, switching career fields or s switching jobs um, for you. You know, maybe more money, more stability, um, better benefits, etc., etc., etc. Rhino spirit, overcoming obstacles. I mean, I'm sorry, overcome um, adversity. A particular student is about to hit on you soon. This would not be a smart idea. Know this. 
will cause huge problems. Whoa! You plug it in how it resonates. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoever you are, Taurus, holy shit. Heard a particular student. Now, a student of something. I don't know what they're a student of. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But they are a student of something. So I'm, I am presuming they are in school in some shape, form, or fashion. Studying something as a student. So like an apprentice energy, but I, I feel they are in school, like higher learning. Um, I heard they're about to hit on you. So this has not happened yet, if this resonates for you. Um, sounds like it's about to. Um, we are March 27, 2022. This is meant for April. Some of you guys, it could resonate the last few days of March, possibly. Um, for some April, some past April. But some kind of student energy. I heard it would not be a smart idea. It's going to cause huge problems, basically, if you engage with this person hitting on you. Sounds like they're going to hit on you. You're not going to hit on them. So I feel for some, they're probably gonna ask you out or they might give you their number, something personal. Um, however that resonates. Um, I heard it would not be as smart to engage basically. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads or not. I wouldn't do it, hell to the nay nay. I would not do that. That does not sound smart. Just saying. But you use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning there, Taurus. Holy crap. Oh, man. Incubation. A Taurus feminine is about to find out she's pregnant. And a Taurus masculine is about to learn of a pregnancy of someone else. Some a minor. Ooh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Ooh. Okay, so if this resonates for you, Taurus, um, some of you Taurus fems are about to find out you're pregnant. Congratulations if you want to be pregnant. Just saying, congrats. Um, and for some Taurus masculines, I heard you're about to learn of a pregnancy. Um now, you could have been pregnant to this person, or it could just be somebody you know that you're learning they're pregnant, how that resonates. Um, but some of these pregnancies, I heard it's a minor pregnancy. So it's somebody that's below 18 years of age that is pregnant. So in this situation, incubation is actually pregnancy energy. It's actually like the, like, it's pictured as embryo, or actually, it's not even embryo on here. It's a fetus. It's turned into a fetus. It actually is the process of, um, producing a child in the womb here, a physical production of a child. Um, wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a Taurus is about to have a wonderful business idea. It's just about to come to them out of nowhere. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to have a wonderful business idea. It's about to come out, of, come to them out of nowhere. So you're about to have some kind of wonderful business idea that's about to just basically come out. It sounds like come to you out of like thin air, just like the boom. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful. Healer. A particular Taurus reader, feminine reader, he really needs to get in touch with their light side more. It would be very smart. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. A particular Taurus uh, reader, fem reader, I heard, um, it'd be very smart for them to get in touch with their light side more so you are a reader you're you're a tarot card reader whoever you are i heard it 
be smart to get in touch with your light side more. Now, I did a reading, I think, yesterday on a thin tarot card Caucasian reader that basically was using black magic behind the scenes. So it might be for this particular reader or maybe any other reader that maybe um, you felt fell off the path and maybe you're dabbling in dark arts. Because whoever this is for, there's a reason the spiritual download of getting on the light side. So something has happened to where you've kind of fell off the horse, if that resonates, um, per se. Um, I feel for some, you might be dabbling in dark arts or you're considering dabbling in dark arts, however that resonates. Um, how that resonates. And in particular, Taurus is a wonderful healer. In the 3D. Their career is about to skyrocket. Okay, so you put, that's beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a particular Taurus is a healer in the 3D. So everyday world we live in, uh, I feel you work in the medical profession in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard you're a wonderful healer. So you actually are a true healer. Like, I'm feeling like Reiki master or shaman or um, massage therapist or masseuse or maybe you're a healthcare professional um, or something of that nature. But I heard your career is about to skyrocket and you're very good at what you do, whatever you do. Um, I heard your career is about to skyrocket. Congratulations uh, to whoever that's for. Clouds, temporary problems. A particular Taurus has had a huge wake-up call that they have way too many people in their life. Way too many. They're about to start cutting people out for strategic reasons for their, for their, for themselves. Oh, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you are, I heard you realize you have way too many people in your life, basically. Um, I think they probably want to use you. They probably want to use you either for sex or money or um, energy suck off you or something of that nature. But you realize you have way too many people basically up in your business. Um, and I heard you're about to strategically cut them out for you. So you're about to self-care yourself and do it by cutting people out of your personal life, basically. Um, people that don't benefit your personal life. Now, that could be anybody. It could be toxic family, toxic friends, toxic neighbors, toxic frenemies, any freaking body man. Um, whoever you decide, I guess, to cut out your life. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Career? And a particular Taurus has a very large amount of money they're not supposed to have. They're about to get communication in the mail soon that they have to return every penny. They're about to be very pissed. Whoa. I think that probably goes with this. Plus fines. Oh, shit. I heard plus fines. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. So at least one of you guys or somebody you're connected to, a force you're connected to, has a very large amount of money. I heard they're not supposed to have. I heard they're about to um, receive communication in the mail soon that they have to return every single penny plus fines. Um, if not, it will result in jail time. Oh, shit. I heard if not, it will result in jail time. Oh, that's serious there, Taurus. Um, so whoever that's for, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. That could be the temporary problems too. So hopefully you have saved this money and not spent it like water. Um, because whoever that's for, um, you're gonna, you're, I heard you have to pay it all back plus fines. Um, you weren't supposed to have it to begin with. And whoever this is for, I think you know it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Career.
One particular tours, there's about to be complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one person, one person, you're going to understand its maliciousness. For some, you are the one that has the complaint on you. For some, you are going to receive the complaints on these people. Two plus people. Wow. Holy crap. So you plug in and how it resonates. So it's at least two of you, Tauruses, in your career sector in some shape, form, or fashion. There's some kind of complaint energy. Um, it sounds like one of you guys, you're going to have the complaint complaints on you and it doesn't sound like it's one it sounds like it's many complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint it sounds like it's going to be on you unfortunately um, i heard it's going to shock you but for the other taurus it sounds like you are going to receive all these complaints on i heard two plus people so it's two plus people i feel you might be a manager boss ceo or supervisor or something of that nature some somehow you are going to receive all these complaints on these people two plus people for one of these people um it sounds like you didn't really it's like you kind of expected it or it wasn't really a shocker is what i'm presuming and one i heard you're going to realize that all the complaints are out of maliciousness um you plug it in how it resonates for the one out of maliciousness you're about to make huge power play moves huge For the one out of maliciousness, you're about to make huge power play moves, huge. So for the one, it sounds like one's about to get complaints and you, it's not going to shock you. Um, for the manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy, whoever you are. That's what I'm feeling. Um, or you could work at a call center. Um, I'm not feeling you. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. But I'm feeling like corporate. I feel like corporate or manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy. I'm serious. For some, you possibly could work at a call center, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like you are high level, whoever that this is for. I'm serious. Um, because, and I say that because you have power in this. I heard the um, one of them is like, it's not going to shock you. It's like, it's not shocking. The other person, because it's two plus people, but another particular person, all these complaints about to come in this other person, I heard you're going to realize this out of maliciousness. And you're going to make huge power play moves. It sounds like to help this person. So you have power in some shape, form, or some shape, form, or fashion in this aspect. Is what I'm saying, Taurus. Um, so I don't feel you're just like a call center representative. I feel you're high level. I feel corporate energy, manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy. I'm just being real. So much so that you're going to make power play moves to help this person because you realize you have high intuition and you realize. All these complaints they're about to come in on this person is done out of maliciousness and spite, not because they really are doing something to deserve them, basically. Um, and you're going to make huge power play moves, I think, to help them, uh, move them or promote them or give them another position or something. Whatever you're going to do, only you know your story, not anybody else. And that could be the temporary problems, too, for you, particular Taurus. I'm feeling corporate energy. I'm feeling manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy. I'm serious. So that's a temporary problem with that one particular person. Now, the other person, it doesn't sound like it really shocks you. But the other person, you you have very high intuition, and you're going to realize it's out of maliciousness and spite, and you're about to do something about it. I think you're going to move them away from wherever they're at. Or ask them if they want to be moved. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but for one tour, that's the one tour. So really high corporate level or manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy. The other tour is you're about to get, I heard complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint. Um, I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So I feel, I don't feel manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor energy here. I feel um, um, just uh, entry level or, or um, not manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, or corporate level is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in however it resonates. Um, and that's the temporary problems too, because yeah, my God, complain after complaint after complaint after complaint. Nobody likes that shit. Nobody does. I can see how, and you might be the one that's looking for another job possibly. 
Forest and Hell. I don't blame you. That though, jeez. Kangaroo, unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Seri serious shakeups coming. Some a Taurus has no control over this. Some a Taurus is about to make the power play, power play moves for the shakeups. It's about to shock the hell out of a lot of people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So there's two different spectrums here. Uh, serious power play moves here. And I'm just serious. Um, I think I had power play moves in your last reading, I think. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. So there's two different spectrums here, though. The first spectrum is um, you, whatever Taurus is this resonates with, there's going to be major uh, shakeups. Um, now, that could be in your personal life, your professional life, or both. But you do not have control over these shakeups if this Category 1 resonates for you. Category two, you are the shakeup energy. You are the power play mover shakeup energy, whoever you are, Torin. You are about to be the change. You are about to be the shakeup. You are about to be the shakeup energy, the boom, boom energy, whoever you are. Um, so you will have control of this situation. Um, hopefully you don't abuse the power, but I'm just saying, uh, hopefully not. Nobody likes abuse of power, period. Perry fucking ad. And that's just the truth. I mean, just being real with y'all. Y'all know I keep it real. But I'm serious. So hopefully you don't abuse power. But there's nothing wrong with shaking it up. I heard it's going to shock a lot of people. Um, but I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. As long as you don't abuse power, then yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you do it with good intentions. Absolutely. That's the way I look at it. So, but you're about to shake things, shake things up. It could be in your personal life, your professional life, or both. However that resonates for you, but you are about to be the, the controller and the power play mover in this situation. For some of you guys, you it will be shakeups and shakeups and shakeups and shakeups, but you will have no control in this situation. For some Torrens, you will be the controller, the power play mover. You will be creating the shakeups, shakeups, shakeups. It's going to shock the hell out of a lot of people, but you're highly intuitive. I think you know this. Um, so that is, to me, is the unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Uh, hopefully you plan this shake-up energy, power play mover and controller energy properly. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, and for the ones that have no control, plan ahead, kind of roll the punches is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular older Taurin, 40 and above, has really, really seen a fire sign feminine's maturity and progress over the years. They are very, very, very impressed. This Taurus is about to make some serious game changers soon. Game changing moves soon. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, Taurus. Um, so whoever you are, you can be masculine or fem Taurus. Um, you're 40 or above, though, whoever you are, you're 40 or above. Um, you can be masculine or femme. You plug it in, how it resonates. But you're definitely 40 or above. I heard that specifically. So you're an older Taurin energy uh, deemed in the throw. Uh, hell, I don't blame you. I'm almost a cool older. I'm just saying I'm 38. So no judgment. No judgment. It's just saying, just saying. But I heard you have really seen um, the growth and maturity of a particular fire sign feminine over the, over the years. 
So somehow you have been watching her or you know her or you work with her or she's in your family or she's in your neighborhood or she is in your community in some shape, form or fashion. Somehow you've been watching this growth and this maturity is what I'm trying to say. However, you've been watching it and however she applies in your life. But I heard you, you are about to shake things up in a positive way, it sounds like, for this um, fire sign feminine. However, you're going to shake things up in a positive way for her. Sounds like you're going to help her out in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, I don't, I'm not sure how. I didn't hear specifics on that. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, she could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Behavior, Jupiter charts. Um, if that resonates. Um, definite dynamic duo energy. You know this. Highly intuitive. Oh, shit. I heard definite dynamic duo energy. You know this. Um, highly intuitive chorus, 40 and above. Um, definite dynamic duo energy. So dynamic duo, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically two people that collaborate, uh, collaborate well together or work well together or um, positively, copacetically mesh well together. Um, duo is two. But it doesn't necessarily have to mean just two people. It could just um, mean, you know, um, these people work well, collaborate, mesh well together, and then they communicate and then make something happen. It doesn't mean that they're always together, like, you know, two peas in a pod and stuck to the hip energy. You see what I'm saying? It's like they can get things done together, either together or apart. But um, so it... I just don't want to get that confused. Like it's two people like suck the damn hip, like conjoined twin energy. Not like that. Um, just to clarify that. Um, but dynamic duo energy is uh, really beautiful energy. It truly is. I uh, heard dynamic duo energy and you know this, 40 and above Taurin. So I think you see something in this fire sign feminine. I think you collaborate well with her or you did collaborate well with her. I think you communicate well well with her or you did communicate well with her or something there was something well there with her in some shape form or fashion you're pulling a fire sign them in very strong i don't know if she's older if she's younger you only you know your story not anybody else so you have to really plug her in your life however they however she resonates if she resonates for you i'm going to pull one more we're at 32 minutes uh, well, I have to say there's no me secret meth labs in here. In Virgos, there was a secret meth lab about to be exposed and a secret meth lab that was about to freaking blow up. Um, just for real, for real. So I'm just saying, <laughs> spirit messages you have to sign for us. But um, whoever you are, Taurus, for the um, dynamic duo energy, you're, you're 40 and above. Those last few messages, I uh, feel is for the 40 and above um torn energies. I feel you're mature. I feel you're highly intuitive. Um, I feel you're on another level, whoever you are. Um, I feel for some, you could be managers, bosses, CEOs, uh, corporate level, like professional people. And I'm serious about that. Like, um, I'm just being real. Don't take no shit kind of people, but still um, professional is what I'm feeling. Um, hopefully I'm not wrong. Just saying. Okay, so broken heart reverse is what I pulled. Number nine could be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number. Number nine, broken heart reversed. A Taurus is recently healing over a recent surgery. A Taurus is recently healing over a breakup. A Taurus is recently healing over severe family issues. But getting stronger every day. Time to get back on it, baby. Oh, shit. I heard time to get back on it, baby. Will you go with your bad self? You go with your bad freaking self, poor. It's time to get back on it, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Time to get back on it, baby. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So some of you guys are recently healing from surgeries, some from um, recent um, 
some kind of family issues in some shape, form, or fashion, some recent surgeries, and some there was something else. Um, you have to go back and check the other one. Those three. Oh, recent breakup. Recent, recent breakup. But I heard basically you're healing. You're healing. You're getting past it. You're mending your broken heart in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it's been a recent death. For some, it's been a recent death. So for some, it's been a recent death. So you're mourning, um, you're going through your mourning process. You're, um, you know, you grieve, you have grieved, you mourn. You're, you're basically healing. You're healing. This is healing energy. Broken heart reverse. I heard time to get back on the horse, baby. So um, maybe horses are very significant for one of you guys because there's a lot of horse energy in here, <laughs> possibly for some. Um, but... Uh, maybe some of you guys like horses or you like horseback riding or I love horseback riding when I can. Um, or something of that nature is what I'm trying to say, possibly. But however that resonates, whether you do or you don't, you're healing and uh, you're about to get back onto something. I think full force with a lot of power play move energy. Um, and I feel for at least several of you guys, you're 40 or above and you're very mature and um you're very mature and you you don't mess around like i feel like serious um power play move like big wig boss energy and i'm just being for real for real like i am serious um you plug it in how it resonates for some for some all right let me see if i hear anything else A particular Taurus is about to tell a feminine energy a secret very soon. They know it's time. And they are right. Been keeping it in for a long time. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Taurus, you can be masculine or feminine. Uh, who are, and whatever age you are, I didn't hear an age, but um, you can be masculine or femme. I heard you're about to tell a femme energy a secret, finally. Um, it, it, um, apparently, the secret you have not told this person, this femme energy, um, I heard it's definitely time. So I feel you've been holding this secret in for a hot minute is what I'm feeling. Um, and you're. it sounds like you're about to display it to her. Whoever this feminine, feminine energy is in your life, only you know your story, not anybody else. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.